Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. Today we're doing another video. Um, it's the SOC level one uh, learning path on TriHackMe. Today's room is introduction introduction to CM. Sim, how you want to call it? It's actually security information and event management. Um, a tool that a lot of uh, folks use, or the category tool that SOC uses. Now, let me do the first one. Boom. What it is, is a system, it's a security information and event management system. And um, the main issue it solves is that um, it um, puts everything in one place. A lot of things log events, a lot of the devices log events, but you're not supposed to go manually, go to each device all the time to get the, the logs. Either way to do that from one dashboard. This uh, category of software solves this. CM itself is not a software, I would say Windows, is a category. You have various uh, companies and projects that call themselves CM. All right, let's do task two. Is registry related activity host centric or network centric? I would say host centric. And VPN is network. Some key features for the this uh, type of software, real-time log ingestion, what I was telling you, alerting against abnormal activities, because after you, you have all of them in one place, you can set alerts. 24-7 monitoring and visibility, protection against the latest threats to early detection. Yeah, to early detection. Detection is it, like you need to combine it with uh, the EDR or something like that, but just the scene itself just warns you. Data insights and visualization and ability to investigate past incidents. That is if you have the data. Log sources and log injection. Okay. So where do we get the sources? Sorry, where do we get the data from? What are the sources? For a Windows machine, um, for example, you have the event viewer, but you don't use the graphical interface for that. You will use a forwarder so that the scene gets the data, the log format, and then it opens it. Uh, graphical user interface. Even a console type of command line. For Linux, here are the main, uh, some of the interesting paths where you can find data. And this is some terminology, what's a forwarder, what's a, what is syslog, what is manual upload, port forwarding. Right. So where is, where are the HTTP logs in, uh, Linux. Var log HTTP. Normally. All right. Why using a sim? Explained it before. Um, and if you are aiming for a SOC analyst job, this might be actually one of the important learning path. 
sim, because um, when you start out, you might not be doing so much malware, forensics, or whatever, but you will be eyes on the glass 24. So you will be watching those monitors and they run the sims. This could actually be important to look into sims and should also focus on the actual tools, not only the category, like the curator one or Splunk or what. Um, right, so what's happening? So they get all the logs and it parses them. This is an example of a dashboard radar. An example of rules you can set, like multiple fail login attempts or if traffic is bigger than 25 megabytes, you get an exfiltration attempt. Depends on the company. If people plug in USBs, and then they give you a use case, for example, ID 104 is logged whenever somebody tries to delete a log. And then Another one is like hackers manage to somehow get remote code execution and they don't know what are the rights, like what, what user are they running. And they, they find out they run who am I. Uh, so there's also a condition like, but is, I mean, why, why would anybody run who am I? Don't they know who they are? I mean, they, for some very edge cases when somebody's testing something or whatever this is not normal user in a corporate who even knows how to run clearly an issue all right uh when event logs are removed code is 104 what type of alert may require uh fine-tuning um, false false alarm right um there, there is a like a fine line you want a bit of, of uh, false alarm. If you get no false alarms, then you're doing something wrong. You're filtering, you're not catching anything. I'm not sure if I express this. Uh, I'm not a native person. The point would be you want it fine tuned but not to the point that you miss the actual alerts. And we have a homework. Okay. Very nice scene we have here. cudominer.exe find event where is it oh wait hold okay this is it um Wait, I got the flag too fast. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, I need to start it again because I, I didn't catch the... 
Okay, start the switch activity. And but okay, now. We're looking for the user, the host name, and the term. All right. So, user. Ask you. It is whose name human resources zero two. It's always human resources. Joking, joking. Ever anybody from human resources finds this? Uh, which might better match the rule? Minor. Remember, guys, when you're doing malware, don't put minor in the code. Like, name the variable. Okay? Because these pesky filters might catch you. All right. And we're done. A new record. We done. We did the, the room in uh, a little under 12 minutes. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to subscribe. To our uh, YouTube channel, where this video is currently being uploaded, or you're watching it on the channel. So it's the channel is called Cyber War. A very nice channel. One of the nice subscribers right now, but it's getting there. And I want to point out. Hello, everyone. This uh, website, this uh, recent uh, video that I uploaded of how passwords get hacked in the real world with the edition with some nice examples. You might want. All right, thank you all for um, watching the video. All I can say is that uh, the aim is to finish all the rooms the stock level one learning path videos for each of them so you might stay close your purpose okay thank you very much for watching